Welcome to Five Minutes Ago, a show we wrote, well, five minutes ago. Go infinity and beyond. With our hosts, Molly Plunkett, Alec Karagosian, Jess Gurung, and Asa Rosemeyer. With this week's guest host, Weldon Smith. That's in your seat. Hey everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Ago, Season 3. And a special welcome to our guest host this week, who's also our special correspondent, Senior Weldon Smith. Thanks guys, I'm super excited to be back in action for the start of the school year. And I'm ready to head out into the field to bring you all some prime content. Right now though, I'm most interested in your opinion on the hot button issue that's speaking to school. What is the best stairwell of BHS? I honestly like the stairwell that feels like a parking garage. It's never crowded and always feels cool. Same for me. Anything but the center stairwell is chill. The center one feels like a mosh pit in slow motion. Like, that's not my vibe when I'm half asleep in the morning. Whoa, some strong opinions out here. Let's move on to this week's announcements before a fight breaks out. Warning, because it is our first week back, we do have quite a few exciting things to mention. Marauders of the Week will be starting up soon. Until then, we'd like to give a special shout out to the freshmen who have adjusted to the new building and new expectations like superstars. The PTSO has some fun activities planned for students. Come enjoy giant lawn games every Friday during lunch in the courtyard outside the cafeteria. Challenge your friends to a game of Jenga, Connect Four, or Ladder Ball. These activities will continue until the end of October, weather permitting. Back by popular demand, Monty, Dex, and the other therapy dogs return on Fridays too. Be sure to look for them in the lobby and around the first floor. They're eager to meet with BHS students again. Congratulations to the Belmont Quiz Bowl team on a successful season that ended in early summer. They ranked in the top 40 high school teams in the country and Cindy Gao, Ella Sheffield, Pablo Hill, and Sam Mockey represented the town of Belmont at nationals and earned 10th place. Great job, Quiz Bowl. Each year, BHS gives a list of junior and senior student names to our military partners. If you do not want your name to be given to our military partners, please fill out the form in the description. This form will accept responses until the end of the school day on September 30th, 2022. Revolution Prep is offering BHS students an ACT practice exam Saturday, October 1st from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. live and online. Use the link in the description below to register. On Wednesday, September 28th at 6.30 p.m., the guidance team will be hosting a virtual senior guardian parent night regarding graduation requirements, future planning, and the college admissions process. Let your parents or guardians know. Registration will open for 10th and 11th graders to take the PSAT offered here at BHS on Saturday, October 15th. Registration will end Monday night, October 3rd. Guidance has practice PSAT books for registered students. This year, we have several homework-free holidays on the calendar. We hope that these breaks will provide students and staff with the opportunity to rest, recharge, spend time with friends and family, and engage in self-care. See the description for the list. Mark your calendars. Midterms will be held on January 24th, 25th, and 26th in Science, Math, and Social Studies. There will be more information later in the fall. The Belmont Closet is in need of new school supplies, including new or generally used calculators. They can always use non-distinctive new clothing, for example, socks, winter wear, and umbrellas, or generally used formal wear. If you'd like to donate or are looking for confidential assistance, please contact Erin O'Regan. Her email is in the description below. This year, all Belmont students can receive one free lunch and one free breakfast each day. In order to access lunch or breakfast, students will need their PIN number, which you can find in plus portals under school and then demographics. If you need community service hours, come help prepare for Belmont Serves Food Drive. See the description for upcoming dates for preparing bags, picking up donations, and sorting items. Reach out to Claire Boyle with questions or follow them on Instagram. And now for our sports announcements. It's been a great start to our fall season so far here at VHS. This week, we are shouting out the soccer teams who had a great showing at soccer night and made the nights of well over 100 town youth soccer players who were able to walk out on the field with their varsity teams. On the boys' side, senior Lucas Alvarez-Fernandez and sophomore Daniel Chang have each scored two goals so far this season. Senior Nobe Obanel reports that he has been working hard with senior Andy Bello and last year's Playmaker of the Year, Sancho Cancre, to build chemistry in the midfield, which has been the catalyst for the team so far. And on the girls' side, freshman Danica Zika had her first high school hat trick on soccer night. Also, senior Yuval Galani's incredible goalkeeping has also been a great asset for the team so far. They're looking forward to building on the positive momentum and welcome back Lena Marinell. 
Way to represent. You all should come to some of our home night games. They're free if you have your student ID or if you sign in before entering. Check the description for the schedule. Hope to see you all there. And now for our arts announcements. Any interested students can participate in the After School Theater Program, or PAC. Sign-ups are currently open for students to participate in the Fall Play, Broadway Night, and Tech Group. See the description for the link to the PAC website, which has a ton of information. Don't forget to swing by the lobby on the way out of the school on Fridays to catch our amazing symphonic band playing us into the weekend. And now, for this week's We Ask You. What are you most excited for this year? I'm most excited to be performing with the marching band at the halftime for football games. Five minutes ago. All right. Making new friends and getting to know the school. I am most excited for the musical. Uh, I'm most excited for uh, not having a lot of sleep and free time. I'm excited about the skateboarding club. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, this year, very excited for spring and Christmas time. I'm excited for football games. BHS sports. I'm excited for the pep rally. Cool events. I'm excited for um, the powder puff game on Thanksgiving. I'm very excited for ski team. To win the upcoming election. Crying in the theater wing. Up next, we have a special editor segment. What are you most excited for this year? Um, apples, I guess. Each week, we ask all of you a question of the week. So use the QR code to let us know what you think. Your witty and wildly school appropriate responses could be featured in the show. Inspired by Walden's earlier question, this week we want to know what is your favorite stairwell? What's your take on this, Walden? Between you and me, Alec, I'm a hardcore user of stairwell A. I know it doesn't go down to the bottom floor, but frankly, I think it has a lot of nice qualities. Something about that big metal gate really adds a sense of intrigue that pushes over the top for me. I'm a big fan of the other stairwell. You know the one off in the distance? I feel like it get me up floors quicker. But no hard feelings, Weldon. We're so happy to have you, our very own special correspondent as the first guest host of the year. Thanks for hosting with us today. I've had a great time. Keep an eye out for me in the halls, special corresponding it up. See you next week. Bye. 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 Make sure to follow us on Instagram at 5 minutes ago underscore BHS. Also, hit the QR code on the screen to find the question of the week. I'm most excited for being done with high school. Uh, I'm most excited for Weldon. Yeah. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, chill. See you next week. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. That's so bad. A sad um, scene. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Five minutes ago does not endorse any political candidate. Or, or like, uh... Give me an idea. This is all scripted anyways. Just, I mean... Good show.